All right, so when you get going ready for your decorating techniques um, on your pinch pot, we need to get everything kind of ready to go before you actually start the technique, all right? And it's pretty much the same uh, prepping that you need to do for all three techniques, okay? So we are gonna need to kind of decide what you wanna do for your pattern or design. We want it to go all the way around. Doesn't have to cover every little space of it, but just somehow going around your project, all right? And by doing that, we're just gonna lightly kind of draw in to the clay so you can see where you're going when you start the actual technique. You can use a dull pencil, okay, a needle tool. This is a paper clip, all right, toothpick. So any of these things are going to draw into the clay. What's nice about it is that if you don't like it, something didn't work out right, you just use your thumb and basically erase it and you can try again. So by planning it, it's going to make your, your design go a little easier and better for you, okay? Um, less mistakes, it's going to work out, okay? So get that planned and prep your clay before you go. For Scorfito technique, okay, that one, the prepping involves first applying that layer of black, all right? So with that, we're just going to take, got black here. Now it's going to look when it's dry, it looks lighter. When it's wet going on, you can see me doing, okay, see it's shiny, okay? And it's a darker gray. This will go black when fired, okay? So you're gonna get that, apply it on, let it dry, okay? And it's gonna look like this. It'll look dull and go lighter. Okay, then you know you want to get your second coat, okay? After your second coat, check that you've got all the spots, all right? And then um, it's getting to that dry stage, and then you can start drawing into this, okay? So you're going to apply the black first, and then start your planning part to it. You are not going to glaze the inside, and we never glaze the bottom, okay? Remember, it's going to go to a liquid state. That would stick to the shelf, okay? So that's your prepping for Scorfito. All right, so then when you're going to do the carving technique, and we can use the little loop tool, if you got a little scraper carver, again, or even basically if you're gonna be using that paper clip. For carving, and that is just, you are drawing into your clay. All right, I'm gonna stand up for that and get a little closer to the camera. So I have it planned, and you can kind of hopefully see my design in there, and I am gonna then follow along with that, all right? and remove a little bit. You don't need to go deep, okay? That's the same with Scrofito. You don't need to go deep. We're just trying to get a little bit into the surface, all right? So you can see that it's starting the little thicker line there, and then coming in with the rest of the detail. So you might need smaller and bigger tools as you go. You have to decide your design. Sometimes you can even just kind of twist and lift it out. The little clay blobs that end up on the sides, when this dries, they're going to be easy to kind of flick off, okay? So don't worry about those yet. You can fix that after, okay? So you're just going to go in and carve, all right? So you can see where I've started there. So it's deeper and a little bit thicker, okay? Here's another example that you can see for the carving, okay? Here's one that did it all the way around in larger amounts. And this one is a little bit finer, okay? But you can see that idea as well. Okay, for the slip trailing, oh, I was gonna show you too. For the prepping, you can um, use a template. So if you wanna draw something out first because you don't think you can do it on the pot or you have it on the computer, go ahead, print it out and you can put it up right next to that, and then just with that toothpick or dull pencil, draw over it, okay? It doesn't give you a great thing, but you should be able to at least see the pattern somewhat through it that you're gonna be able to work with that, okay? And then you'll just kind of peel that off, okay? And you can see what's underneath was for that design, all right? So then that becomes handy dandy. Remember earlier in the video, we showed you how to get your baggie of your slip trail. So once you are set for that, 
I've got my design here and now I am just going to squeeze out a little bit and start drawing in where I want it to be. If it doesn't go quite how you wanted it to be, okay, you can use a toothpick or a needle tool and scrape some of that off. So I'm going to get a little bit of it here so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So you can see with that skinnier kind of setting, I have a little bit more control of it blobbing out, okay? So you might want to keep it pretty skinny. All right, go a little bit more here and then I'll show you kind of what we have. All right, so you can see that as that raised surface. So and that is then your slip trailing, all right? So you're just drawing in. It creates that raised design. The third technique then is again, you can see how that's drying up for us now, is the sgraffito. And with the sgraffito too, when kind of planning out your design, same thing, you can use different templates and just draw into it. Now with this, if you've kind of goofed and you want to redo, okay, you'll have to rub it out, but add a little bit more black to it. But so even with this, you're going to see that when I carve through, because remember, Scraffito isn't just carving, but it's carving through that glaze color, and we're using black, all right? So when fired, this light stuff is going to go black. My lines right now that look dark gray are actually going to be white. This clay will go white. Okay, so you have that great high contrast. Same thing, brush gently. You don't want to keep these crumbs on your project, so you got to watch for that. And creating that kind of design that you're going with, okay? So when fired, Scraffito is going to look like that. So that, like I said, will go black. Where you carved, stays white. So there's a student example, more of a, a simpler design, but looking nice as well. All right, so there's three of your decorating techniques. So kind of plan for it, don't forget, and have fun while you're doing it.